Kids know they can't wear purple at this school. They can't wear purple. That's one of the two colors that are banned in the locker room. That's one of the two colors, purple and red, for obvious reasons. Coach Bannister, I think I know where you're going with that. Week one of the high school football season is finally here, and what better way to kick off the season than playing your in-parish rival, especially when it's a Boyles in Marksville. The Tigers will play host to the Mustangs and something to think about. Marksville's head coach and a Bulls head coach coached together at Marksville a few years ago. Now they are both coaching at their alma mater. And can it get better? It can. They also played against each other in the high school rivalry. And can you say the roots run deep in a Bulls parish? And Coach Harper says there is one moment that will always stick out to him the most when he played as a Tiger against the Mustangs. One of my biggest memories of playing a Vols um, was uh, 19... 96, I think it was 96, I set the Russian record, Marksville, that's since been broken, but against my father-in-law now, who was the coach, out of Vols at the time. So I ended up Russian record, beating a Vols, and marrying his daughter, so it was a win-win. The last time the Tigers and Mustangs met was in week one last season, where a Bulls took the win at home 72 to 18. A Bulls has won the rivalry the past few seasons, but Marksville's going into this week confident in their young talent. On the flip side, the Mustangs are also going in confident with their veteran quarterback, Nick Kalski, and the number three running back in the state, Dakarian Sampson. Marksville has not won their season opener since 2019, and Coach Harper says they are ready to turn the page and feel the rush of a week one win. Having Dakarian on my side is definitely comfortable, and I have a few other guys that make me feel good about Friday night. But um, it's going to be a good game, I think, you know, with it being a rival. You know, we're nine miles apart from each other. It's going to bring out the best in everybody. It's been good this week. Anytime you have a rival week, you don't have to do a lot of talking with the kids. The kids are up for it. The kids are excited. They came in yesterday, had a good day of practice, and, you know, and the, the emotions are high. But you always, as a coach, got to kind of calm that down. It is a game on Friday. You got to watch your emotions. You can't let it get the best of you on a Friday. But it, it's always great to open up a week one with the Paris rivalry.